Welcome to TankUniverse.com with the breaking news. The UK-based joint venture Rheinmetall BAE System Land, RBSL, has recently released some interesting information and images relating to the new Challenger 3 main battle tank. At the end of April 2024, it was announced that the primary weapon system, in this case a 120mm RH120 L55A1 smoothbore cannon from Rheinmetall, had been successfully tested in Germany. A significant increase in combat effectiveness compared to the 120mm L30A1 installed in the Challenger 2. The announcement included the completion of pre-series production of a total of eight Challenger 3s. According to the manufacturer, the images shown are of number eight in the production facility in Telford. The eight prototypes will now undergo around 18 months of intensive testing under operational conditions to verify the capabilities of the overall system and to incorporate improvements for the remaining series production of 140 Challenger 3 main battle tanks. RBSL published these recordings. The Challenger 3 is based on the Challenger 2 and is in principle an intensive armament program to modernize the Challenger 2. The British Ministry of Defense made 930 million euros available for this in 2021. The remaining modernized tanks are to be delivered between the years 2027 and 2030. Even if the visual changes are barely noticeable, the third generation of the tank is a completely new design and differs significantly from its predecessor. In addition to more powerful armament, the drive will in future also have a power output of around 1,500 horsepower, a modern combat information system with open architecture and two independent thermal optics. And that's just an overview as you can see from the graphic. We will have the opportunity to find out more about the Challenger 3 in late summer of 2024. This will, of course, be followed by a detailed report. General Dynamics European Land System presented a new supercarrier variant of the Piranha 5 vehicle family in April 2024. The Piranha 10x10 heavy mission carrier thus provides a new platform form for the increasing demand for highly maneuverable platforms for ever more demanding mission profiles and the urgent requirements of NATO and international customers for military mobility. According to the company's press release, whether there is actually a need for such a large carrier vehicle remains to be seen. With a maximum payload of around 17 tons, the total weight is around 40 tons. Despite a length of around 10 meters, a turning circle of less than 18 meters is possible thanks to the multi-link suspension. In addition, a new artillery variant was presented during the Future Artillery Conference in Paris, which took place a few days ago. The unmanned artillery gun module, AGM for short, from KNDs Germany, was mounted on the Piranha HMC. The AGM is already familiar from other artillery systems, such as the Boxer RCH-155 or the Donar, and houses a 155mm L-52 howitzer. Even though the vehicle is extremely large and quite heavy at around 40 tons, it can still be operated by a crew of two. Optionally, a third crew member can be accommodated or more stowage space for equipment can be provided. The effective range of the weapon system is 360 degrees. Firing on the move is possible. Firing on the move is possible. Also thanks to the 10x10 multi-link suspensions, which does not require support like comparable systems. That's it again with the breaking news from tankuniverse.com.